Good day everyone. I'd like to welcome you back to the Bloody Fork Homestead. This is my first little radish bed and I've got three strands of radishes here. One is a breakfast type radish. The other, I think the middle row is a uh, white icicle radish and then I've got a purple radish over here. This is always the first crop we normally harvest, isn't it, during the spring season. Uh, for those of you in Florida, I know you're already into your summer season almost. <laughs> but for us who live in our colder climates and us in the mountains, these are usually the first things that really start coming up. I uh, sowed these probably 10 days ago and they're starting to come up pretty good. We have to, of course, keep them covered. We'll get some hard freezes yet, but as long as I keep them covered, they're usually pretty good. One of the most difficult things is to thin out radishes. Uh, to come through, and you can eat the thinnings if you like, but to come through and give them uh, maybe a couple of inches uh, between the plants, uh, I'll probably thin them out one more time after this, but I'm doing an initial thinning. And uh, again, this is one of the difficult things that some people find to do is thinning out radishes or anything you plant. You see it coming up and it's a hard thing to go in and, and thin them out. But the, the fact is, if they're like this, they have to be thinned out. You have to come out and give them at least a couple inches between each other. Uh, Thin them out good so that uh, uh, you'll have a good strand. They'll grow into the spaces. They have some room to have some roots. Uh, but uh, I'll do this again probably another time before we harvest these radishes. One of the first things to look forward to. Radish is such a easy crop to grow and uh, if you just protect them a little bit, keep the bugs away from them, uh, they'll do well. A uh, happy radish season, everyone. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to the Bloody Fork Homestead. Today is March the 25th. This is our early spring stuff coming up. We're trying to have some food for the farmer's market, some food for us, uh, but uh, this right here, is a bed that I don't bother to thin out much. Uh, over on this side is a mescaline mix. Uh, it has different kinds of lettuces and arugula and a few other things in it. Uh, I think there's a little bok choy in there. Uh, but I don't thin it out much. I, uh, I just uh, try to get some of the weeds out, but I don't worry about them too much either because what happens with mescaline mix especially once it grows up it drowns out every other thing in there the weeds and the grass and it, it has good competition with each other and uh, it will grow all the way to the top of the hoops here and uh, we'll harvest a whole lot from this mescaline mix is a is a crop that you can uh, harvest many 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 times and the same way goes with over here. I have these in little rows, but this is baby spinach. I won't bother to thin it out much because we'll be mostly coming over here and, and getting the leaves off. A um, Couple different types of baby spinach over here uh, to harvest for salad. Uh, between the mescaline mix over here and the baby spinach, Looking forward to some good salad. Happy salad time, everyone.